What is happening guys? Welcome back to another video and it's another tattoo news and this is a little bit of an update of Electrum regarding reach compliancy. So we'll be getting into that after the intro. So then, welcome back. Yes, people have been asking for a while now, when am I going to do a review of Electrum Inc? Just to let you guys know that that is currently in the process of being done. Obviously, a lot of stuff was kind of like put on hold while I had COVID and, and all that bollocks. I'm back at it now and I'm testing and reviewing. I'm just waiting for to do a couple, try out a couple more of the colors. I'm waiting for some heels to come back to see what they're like. So in the meantime, there was a little while ago while I was ill, uh, Electrum put a little bit of an update on their Instagram about their reach compliances and so on. So I thought I would, if you haven't seen it, I'll let you guys know about it. Rob popped up on his Instagram and said there's a lot of chatter around reach compliancy in the EU. What he's saying is at Electrum Inc, they can tell you a few things with absolute certainty. Now, the first thing they're saying is although they haven't been in the space nearly as long as some of the big name brands, they also know everything they need to know about making safe and compliant pigments for use within cosmetic tattooing. He also goes on to say that all tattooing is cosmetic tattooing, which is true. It also goes on to say that Electrum have an elite team of chemists and regulatory experts that work diligently behind the scenes on their pigments. They also say that they're a smaller family owned company with far less overheads. And what that means then is that they will be able to pass along the savings because they basically won't have a higher profit margin. And they will try and keep it that way as long as they possibly can. So what they're saying is their rich compliant pigments are currently in the testing process with CTL labs in Germany. They already have passable blacks, whites, reds, and a handful of other colors. They just aren't rushing the full testing process yet, which also includes human trials to ensure that there are no reaction issues and uh, that the inks heal well. They also say that Electrum will always be committed to quality and safety above all else. And if they can't produce a top shelf product, they will not release it, period. So just a little bit of an update for you there. Like half this stuff is just me reading what I'm seeing on Instagram and, and shit and letting you guys know about it. One thing I wanna make perfectly clear though is that um, there are the inks that are available now, at the time they released them, they were EU compliant. So at the moment, those specific inks that are out are only really compliant in the UK because they haven't brought out the reach compliant inks for Europe. So if there's any confusion there, let's, yeah, the current range that they have is not reach compliant and only really usable in the UK or in you know, other, other places other than Europe. So there we go. If I get any more updates off Rob, I will let you know. And once I get my arse into gear and I get this review finished and everything, I'll let you know what I think of the inks. So far, they're fucking good. But yeah, that's me done. Hope you enjoyed watching this. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. And like always, please subscribe, hit the notification buttons and all that stuff to keep up to date with everything that we do. We really do appreciate it and it does help our channel grow. So take it easy, guys. Bye.